Hey guys, today I am getting ready to do an interview for SBTN TV and so I decided to just film this while I'm getting ready. So this video is kind of like get ready with me but uh, I also wanted to share with you guys other colors I'm using and lately I've been interested in the color purple and blue. If you guys notice like most of my music video it's either blue or it's like have has that purple tint and I just feel like those colors lately have been really in. Let's dig into the Pat McGrath palette again because this is so expensive. I'm going to try to show you guys how many looks you can make with this palette. This palette once again was $125. I think it's so worth it because all the colors are so iridescent. It changes when you like look around or when certain lighting hits it. The way that these come out on your eyes, it's just really nice and really really pretty. So I do recommend it if you want to treat yourself splurge on this product right here. This palette is the Mothership number no. 3 Subversive. I'm going to start off with this purple color right here. Go ahead and dig into this color Night Creature. It sounds kind of nice, Night Creature. I feel like Michael Jackson <laughs> in Thriller. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the lids of my eyes. I am running a little late. It's about 4 o'clock right now and I have to be at the interview at the TV station at 6.30. I live in LA and the interview is actually in Orange County. Right now it's traffic time so I'm going to try my best to do this for you and get to the interview station on time. I'm putting on my lids and also blending it out and bringing it up towards the eyebrow to give it more of a shadow. Then I'm going to do the same thing on my under eyes, right there. This is like such a pretty color. Every time I film a music video, I'm like, I want purple. Purple and purple. You can always intensify this by using the Fix Plus. But I think this color right here on this palette is very pigmented, so the Fix Plus is not really necessary unless you want more. So, a lot of you have been asking me what kind of brushes I use. I use the Hakuhoro brushes. They're Japanese brushes and they're kind of pricey but they're so worth it because sometimes when I use other types of brushes, it kind of hurts my face and it kind of damages. So, these lasted me over five years already and I have not changed brushes since. I might look into other ones and consider other ones just to change it up but for now, I've been using the Hakuhoro brushes. And the one that I used first to put on my eyelid was the S127. The other one I used was the Hakuhoro brush. This one doesn't have a number on it, but it looks like this. And you can use this to define your under eyes and go into the corners of your eyes, the hollows of your eyes, right there. You can see. You can extend it and blend it. Next I'm going to use is this color right here. It kind of has a purple tint but at the same time a blue tint. So my background is kind of blue. I wanted to change it up and add a little color to it. This color right here is Blitz Amethyst. Using that same brush, S127, I'm going to go on over my lids with it. But just partial of it because I still want to keep that purple tint in my eyeshadow. Here you go. It's already coming out really pretty already. I'm gonna take this MAC brush. I can't even see the number because I've had this for like 10 years. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go into black metal and then enhance the creases of my eyes. Just the outer creases. Give it more definition. And then same thing on the underwater line of my eyes. Right now, working on my other eye. The interview that I'm going to do in a few hours is one of my first interviews in a long time. If you guys have been following me, I have been really out of touch with being in the public eye and that's the reason why I wanted to do more vlogs and focus more on bettering myself to speak better in front of the camera and not be shy. This interview, is one of the first interviews that I said, okay, I'm okay to do it. And only because my friend asked me to do it. Otherwise, I'd be like, mm, no, I don't wanna do it. I'm very awkward in front of cameras. So I kind of forced myself 
to really do vlogs everyday vlogs daily vlogs so I'm very nervous about this interview I'm just kind of like sweating up a storm right now like my body is like sweating just thinking about this interview I'm just too scared I've been vlogging for a year now and I kind of feel that I'm getting a little bit better with my speech maybe this is a test to see if I conquered my fear it's weird because like I have three or four personalities one is like when you see, first meet me I won't say a peep there's nothing that comes out of me and then there's a second version of me where when I have a little bit of alcohol then I just go and then there's a mid version of me where I'm in between like I had maybe one shot and I'm starting to open up to you so there's like three personalities which is so weird I find myself like you know pick one <laughs> but it's okay now I'm going to move on to highlight so this one right here this color in the same palette I want to use this palette to show you guys that this palette is very universal and you can use all the colors for just one look this color is called Astro Ghost Orchid and I'm going to highlight my under my eyebrow bone it's very subtle color right here there you go. And then in the inner corners of my eyes, I'm going to use the same thing and place it in the middle right there. And it also has a slight purple tint. I am going to work on eyeliner. Once again, the Shu Amour eyeliner. I'm gonna wing it out, extend it long, make my eyes look much bigger and longer. I'm going to line my waterline. I always do this because I feel like it's more intense, it's more dramatic. When I do makeup, I like to do it extra. Okay, so I got that lined. And moving on to mascara. This mascara is also the Shu Amora Petal Lash Mascara. And I tried to find this online, but I can't find it. So you have to buy this at Duty Free. This is where I got it, at Duty Free in Taipei. And they only have it outside of the country which is so weird because this is one of the best mascaras I've used for waterproof it does not go anywhere it extends your eyes and it's really really pretty the name itself already the petal lash mascara now I'm going to curl my eyelashes with this tweezer man eyelash curler I don't have much but it helps with the lift of the false lashes when I apply them Moving on to eyelashes. Once again, I am using my Pupe eyelashes right here. If you guys want to order this, you can order at unmin at unmin.net. Email me and I will tell you how to get these babies. Place it on top like that. And then arrange it and make sure that it's in place how I want it. Okay, that's one eye. Do the other one. My eyelashes are done and now I'm moving on to foundation. Gotta brush all this mess off. The Prairie Foundation, this is a skin caviar foundation. This one is pretty pricey but it's lasted me a year and I have no problem with it and also helps with your skin care. Using my beauty blender, I'm gonna blend this all out. Make sure all that dark spots and icky stuff is going to be erased. All right, foundation is on and now I'm going to conceal. This is the Tint Idol Ultra Wear. This concealer goes a long way, so just put a little and it'll just conceal almost everything. Don't use too much because it's a lot. See? It's already like spreading very nicely. I did my eyebrows um, and now I'm going to focus on my cheeks. Let's get some blush on this pale face of mine. I'm going to use the Tarte Party Blush. Pate! With this brush S110 from Hakuhodo. Also, if you guys want to know, what I use on my eyebrows is Brune by MAC Cosmetics. Moving forward to contouring. 
must contour. My nose is a big blob right now, so I want to define it and bring out the high points. Use this brush again. It doesn't have a name, which I feel so bad because it just says Hakuhoro. But it looks like this. So I'm going to use this Hula by Benefit to contour my nose. I just drew two lines down my nose and then I'm going to start blending it out. Make sure that you don't see the two lines. With the Hakuhoto S112 1G, I'm going to continue to blend it out even more. Looks more natural that way. Highlighter. Let's use the Rihanna Fenty highlighter. I'm going to use Mean Money on my Cupid's bow right here. Then I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose as well as my eyebrow bone my upper eyebrow bone then using the other side hustle baby highlight my cheekbone right there upper cheekbone same thing on the other side last step is lip liner I'm going to line my lips and shade it in to keep it lasting longer. This is Charlotte Tilbury's lip liner in the color Pillow Tuck. The lipstick I'm going to use today is called Super Cindy by Charlotte Tilbury. Look how pretty this is. This is probably why I bought it because it's so pretty. <laughs> okay. Shade it in. That should complete my look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to head out to my interview right now. I'm a little bit late, but hopefully I'll make it on time. And uh, wish me luck. It's my first interview in a long time. So nervous. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you guys next time. If you guys have any requests on what looks you want me to do or what makeup you want me to review, then please comment below and message me, and I'll try my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching.